Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will examine three cases where r, the correlation coefficient, can be determined based on a description of the relationship between two numerical variables. What would be the correlation between the ages of husbands and wives if men always married women who were a, three years younger than themselves? So this is a contrived example, but because of this always, we can see that there's perfect correlation. If you know the age of one, then you can know the age of the other with zero error. So it is perfect correlation, and we can see that it's also linear. Uh, we could even set up a equation, a linear equation that relates these two, something like y equals x minus 3. So we have a perfect linear relationship, so we know r is going to be either positive 1 or negative 1. When you hear this younger, uh, it might make you think negative, but uh, to see better what's going on, we can write out some of the pairs of data points. For example, if the husband is 30, the wife would be 27. If the husband is 35, the wife would be 32. So we can see that as one goes up, the other also goes up, as opposed to down. So this is positive correlation. If we graph it, we can see it uh, this way as well. Positive slope and they fall along a line. So we have a correlation coefficient of r equals positive 1. Part b, two years older than themselves. So again, we have perfect linear relationship, and so we just uh, need to know if it's positive or negative. Similarly, if we write out some of the example points, if one is 30, the other would be 32. If one is 35, the other would be 37. Um, we can see that as one goes up, the other also goes up. So this is also positive, and so we have r is positive 1. C, half as old as themselves. So don't let the half as old uh, trick you. Slope and correlation are not the same thing. So the correlation is not the slope. Uh, if the husband is 40, yeah, the wife would be 20, etc. We can still see that as one goes up, the other goes up, and because it is perfect linear relationship, with one going up, the other going up, we have R is positive 1. They fall along a line with positive slope. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.